Hey guys, you might know this one. Did you know that even though Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land scored high reviews in Japan and Europe, I never saw a North American release? It was due to a poll in Nintendo Power, asking if the people wanted the game to come to America. And it swung slightly against the American release. It was like 60 or 70 percent. So he never got there. And that's why we had the European version last time. But this is purely a Japanese version. With some translation, of course. Welcome back to Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love! Previously, uh, we did a lot of things. We, we found, uh... We found a ninja, and... Uh... Other stuff. Uh, Pendulum... Pendulum was happening. There was like a dowsing stuff. We shot rats. All in all, we got like a whole bunch of game cartridges. So, welcome to the final dungeon section. We're gonna be dungeoning like crazy. Well, dungeoning like crazy. Yeah, I got lots of cartridges for you. You will not believe. I'm gonna run you out of business and or the opposite. But here's one from a cactet. That's probably an easy one. I I'm guessing that most of these are going to be hard, though. So, uh, I don't really need the rupees, so we're just going to, like, see them. Mainly because we have to do five dungeons, and if they're hard ones, they're going to have, like, multiple floors beyond three. And I don't want to spend too much time on any of them. But there are some dangerous ones in here, because, I mean, I got this one off a of ninja. It's got to be hard. It's called Energy Black, after all. And, uh, I don't know what Energy Black is supposed to look like. Is that supposed to be, like, Dark Energy? The stuff that's holding the universe together and or tearing it apart? He's a great one. That's probably just an easy one, though. And, uh, finally, what's the last one? Oh, the weird, uh... Oh, Special Blue! You know, it's special, so it's probably gonna be hard. Yep, all the dungeons get! We got all the dungeons! I found cartridges. I completed his Famicom collection. You know, the dungeons just are loosely related to what's on the cartridge. I think these guys are just doing their nerd collection for them. See, what I say? I was doing their nerd collecting this entire time. Well, you did run the dungeon and give me rupees. Well, that's just what I do. I'm Tingle. I make everyone happy. Unless you're American. Yay! I am a dungeon master! The final sticker of page 7. So we don't even really need to do the dungeons, but I mean, we're, we're here. And they got all the cartridges. Are you gonna, like, pay me a little bit extra for this? Well, I, I guess I could just go and earn it if I wanted to get paid. Alright. Are they free? Do I get to free play them? No, they have to run a business after all. They're gonna take a little bit of my rupees to give me tons of rupees in return. So let's go ahead and start playing, uh... Let's try normal dungeons. Just to brush up on our skills. Oh, hey, there's Energy Black. Naughty Kid, the secret of... What island? Okay! Yeah, that's in the game. So that, that was Energy Black. I think that was Energy Black, or is that PBK? I'm not quite sure now. Kindergarten of War. Hey, that looks like Night in the Woods art. Is, was this the Night in the Woods before Night in the Woods? Uh, we saw that one. Saw that one. And saw that one. So let's play Naughty Kid's Secret of That Island. Gosh darn it, Island! <laughs> Something tells me there's no gosh darn it's in here. Are you not gonna blow in it first? I mean, that was... God knows where. I forget where I got that one now. Is that Mushroom Lady? Oh well. Just play nutty, kid, in the secret of gosh darn island. 
Well, there's no island to be seen, but gosh darn it, we're in the ocean. So, oh, whoa, whoa. Gosh darn it! Now I know why they named it this. Get out of here. How could you do rock anyway? You should be doing paper. There we go. You played like a fish and you lost. That's what happens when you're a fish. So, we might as well just, like, find the signs in these areas and find out why this is called Gosh Darn It Island. Because I can't say that other word. It's against my creed. Ah, the sign is on the other side of this. Ah! Fish! Fish go squish now. There we go. Thank you for the seconds on the clock that I'll waste in, like, five seconds. Thank you. I'm going the wrong way. Ah! Fish! I'm being accosted by fish! On Gosh Darn It Island! All the Gosh Darn Fish are everywhere! See a duck? Eat it up! Don't do that to a duck. Ducks are like nice geese. Don't eat the ducks. Eat the geese. That's what they're there for. That's why they're mad at you all the time. Well, at least there's some double coin pickups in this area. Darn these fish! Man, I've been getting lucky with these. Usually I have terrible luck. Well, that's enough piracy for me. Let's go to the next floor. We need to find out why they're eating ducks. Are you eating a duck today? No, you haven't. You've lost. You were not a pirate. You know, this would be a perfect time to do the... the Lazy Town thing. Do what you want, because a tingle is free. That kind of thing. Yep, this is a... I wonder if we'll see, let's see like, skeleton pirates. You know, the Stalfos Pirates. They probably raided Gosh Darn Island. They probably had to fight these fish. Also, I'm having, like, funky stereo going on because there's a fish in my right ear and there's a fish in my left ear. And that tickled a little bit, actually, having those fish in my ear. Don't take that in the gutter. Why would you take that in the gutter? Look, there's a squid on the screen. It's Splatoon now. Always iron your bandana! If you don't have a bandana, then I have a question for you. Why? Wait, that's the end of the dungeon? It's only two! Gosh darn it! That's why it's called Gosh Darn Island! Well, that was a short one, at least. That's a benefit. Dance, fishes, dance! Just like Sebastian in the Little Mermaid movie. Crying salty tears because they're living on Gosh Darn Island. So that was a that was a short one. That was indeed a short one. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't feel like I got my money's worth or my efforts worth for that one. You're gonna have to make it worth my while. No, oh, it's easy mode after all. Now well, six hundred rupees is six hundred rupees. I'll take it. Thank you! I have many more dungeons to clear. Hopefully they're uh, a little bit more meaty than that one, because all we got was two pirate hints and that was it. Okay, I, I would like to try another normal dungeon. Yeah, that gray one. The Night in the Woods one. The Night in the Woods prequel. Kindergarten of War. That's probably when Mei took a baseball bat and beat up someone during a t-ball game. She doesn't talk about that one at all. Because that would mean there was a trend. Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll get to see what the May and friends were like when they were children. Yep, this seems to be like Night in the Woods. Yeah, totally. You remember the fun music that we had in Night in the Woods? When Mangus was talking about his problems. Yay, field trip! I wonder where they went. They could have went to the train yard. Or they could have went to the, the veterans hospital. Yeah. We even got an early map, too. Yeah, something tells me I don't want to bother with those slow enemies. I mean, it's just coins. Hopefully this is not another level 2 one. Alright, let's see what this sign says. No, you can't do that! She... She'd be ancient by that time. 
I had a computer teacher in high school. This is when computers were like that new thing. It was like the 90s, like mid 90s. And our computer teacher was like 60 years old and we were teaching her things. That was very embarrassing. And no, this was not Possum Springs High School. I, I didn't move to Possum Springs till much later, like mid 20s. So I missed out on the fun stuff with May. Like beating people with baseball bats. That was fun, wasn't it? Anyway, more sign. It's on the other side. That was in a hurry. What are you... No running in the halls. You're gonna have to get punched now. Go to timeout. Go to detention. Think about what you've done. Yes, there's detention in kindergarten. There's also term papers in kindergarten. But they're really short. Oh boy! Let's not talk about that one. It's just, uh... We're gonna have to put that one in the concern folder. We're going to have to file that one. Because I think that child has some problems now. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna need some extra coins to pay for that child's therapy. And we're done. Okay, children, dance break! So, that was Kindergarten of War. I think they were throwing underpants at me. I wasn't paying too much attention, I was adjusting my earbuds because, uh... Some of the stereo noises was making me suffer a little bit. Plus, I just took a shower and I have water in one of my ears. Probably doesn't help. 19 coins! 40 rupees each? 760 rupees! By the way, some of the monsters down there are having... ...problems... ...understanding adult things. Do, do, do you want to go educate them? Anyway, on to the hard dungeon. The hard dungeon's for the big folks. Who don't see mom and dad wrestling under the bedsheets. Let's see what we got for the hard. I see the energy black already. And Super Dungeon Brothers! We're doing that one last because it's a reference. We also have Izumi and Inouye's. And Paradise AKA! Let's do this one, it's kind of spooky. Is this gonna like, uh, Slender Man at me or something? I hope I'm not gonna regret this. It's a hard dungeon after all, which means maps are going to be rarer, but the prizes are going to be much more! Oh, also the enemies are going to be much faster and unpredictable. We remember the Orange Fortress. Oh, wow. So, um, for you guys watching at home, the bitrate is probably going to go to heck! Because I compress. And stuff like this kills compression on pretty much anything. Even streams have this problem. I can barely even see the entrances myself. So I'm gonna try and alleviate that, but uh, this is why they call it Izumi in the noise. Because there's noise everywhere. I'm gonna try and make it to the... Oh, hello! Horror spooky monster. Get slain by my tingly might. Oh, we have lots of time. This is gonna be uh, a five... a fly floor, isn't there? She lives in the Empty Channel on the TV. Something tells me this is an urban legend concerning Japanese folklore. You know, like modern Japanese folklore. You know, they have their, their demons for pretty much everything. They even have demon foxes for some reason. And they like disguising as people and getting food, if I remember my Japanese correctly. And of course, like the catfish, they cause earthquakes. I mean, there's weird stuff going on all over the place in Japan. They live on a tiny island, they gotta make stuff up. Just ask the, the people that live in the Philippines, like the Hawaiians? Yeah, they got some wacky folklore going on there, too. Uh, nope, nope, I don't want you. No, thank you. No horror mo movie monster for me, thank you. I just want this sign. No, I don't, because I don't live in Japan. You can't haunt me. You're only on the Japanese channels. I'm immune to you. I'm American. 
I'm ignorant of your ways. That's the way you defeat monsters, is be ignorant of them. See, I'm being ignorant of this one right now. I'm just following behind her. If it's even a her. Just so I can get to the sign. Nope, I'm leaving the noise forever. I don't like your no- I said I don't like your noise. Go away now. Go! I scissor at you! Yes! Man, that's like three dungeons where I'm winning most, if not all, of my rock, paper, scissors battles. Or as they call it in Japan, Janko. Well, it, it wasn't a it wasn't a five floor one, so I'm happy about that. We are now out of the bitrate murder room. Then again, the bitrate probably won't get that bad because this 3DS emulator only takes up like a portion of the screen, which is why I have the Tingle Vision in the first place. Because otherwise, it would just be black, like a good amount of black on each side. So we might be okay. Might be, is the operative word there. Either way, we don't need to worry about AMR. We saw Izumi in the noise. It sure was noisy in there. They were playing... I can't even describe the music. Yeah, we need to talk about that dungeon. Why are you storing Japanese myth monsters? Urban legends and all that? Kind of like the ring girl, but blobbish. Well, at least we got 2,500 rupees. Yay, I'm rich again! Getting there! I mean, I could make myself totally rich, but, um... What am I gonna spend it on? The princess? Because that's pretty much the only woman left in the game that doesn't love Tingle. She only likes Tingle. Just a little bit. So, another hard dungeon. Let's, um... Let's do this Paradise AKA. I see a, a Goofy Ninja and Mount Fuji. And a Japanese sun. So, obviously there's nothing stereotypical going on here, right? Vampool? Right, Dun and John? You're culturally sensitive, right? I'm sure they are. Welcome to... Japan. This is exactly what Japan looks like. We were talking about Japan. Now we're at it! Welcome! Yep, I, I, random noises in Japan, too. Yep, lots of noises in Japan. There's a lot of people that live there, you know. RGB colors within two screens. And triple coins everywhere. Dakota. I think the Mr. Saturns live here. Yeah, yeah that's the Mr. Saturns now. That's, what the, that's not a Mr. Saturn. That's a Mr. Uranus. It's pronounced Uranus. Okay? I'm an astronomer, I know these things. Go away now. Thank you. You're not beat me today, Mr. Uranus. So we got hairy Mr. Saturns that are going, yo! Totally cultural sensitive, yes. Also, these passageways are extremely narrow. If we get a map of this place, it'll be, like, pretty much narrow hallways all over the place. And with, like, only one way to go, because the monsters are blocking the rest. Admiring Red Fuji, and the sky is bliss. That it doesn't have to do anything with a 3DS or a DS. I think we're just running across, like, random snippets of haiku. Not even any relation to each other. I would think up haikus right now, but I'm too tired. I'm too tired and I'm not creative enough, okay? I usually have to pre-plan these things. Most of my videos are like maybe 75 to 80% off the cuff. Everything else I kind of thought up ahead of time. And I like it that way. Oh, welcome to Dungeon 3. Welcome to more yo. Now, th to be honest, we haven't heard much yo. Because I haven't been lingering in these dungeons too long to get the yo. But there's yo in here! There's a lot of yo. Last time I played this dungeon, uh, I was getting yo out the wazoo. I'm just filling up your yo quota. 
Okay, that's too much, yo. I'm out of here. They're starting to cluster. They'll stereo at me again. I think I'll I, I think I'll turn Japanese just like that old 90s song. Oh, that was a short hard one too. Oh well, any rupee is good rupee. Wait a second, that Yeah, we did three floors. Did I skipped the sign on the last floor. Well, dread. Oh well, it's probably just more haiku anyway. I'm not going back into the yo zone, okay? Yo! I mean, uh, yay, we're done! We gotta talk about that dungeon, too. There's a lot of dungeons that have problems today. Well, at least got 3,600 rupees! I'm almost breaking even. Gotta save all these rupees for later. Did Tingle even take the rupees back with him when he went back to modern Hyrule? Or are they just book rupees? That's a really good question. Because, I mean, he doesn't need to worry about being unemployed if he had, like, 20,000 rupees going back. Alright, we got one cartridge left. We got the Super Dungeon Brothers! I didn't do this dungeon yet, so this one's gonna be a new one for me. But I bet it's, like, Nintendo-related. Oh, you're blowing into that one, huh? It must be really Nintendo in there. That's my guess, anyway. Because, uh, you know, it is a Nintendo game. Nintendo has to reference themselves somewhere. Yep, yeah, it's pretty Nintendo. Enjoy the 8-bit dungeon music. Also, this dungeon is extra tall, if you know what I mean. It's really tall. Dunn's favorites! Chugging colas and fried chicken. Chugging the fried chicken. Dunn has some problems in his life. And only fried chicken can solve them. Lots of it. So this is pretty nice. I, I, I like the 8-bit music. What is it? Oh, generic 8-bit uh, monster butt person. With no monster butt. Oh, it has a little bit of a monster, but I've been mistaken. So, th this uh, dungeon is extra big. That's what I'm getting from the gimmick here. And also, there's extra monsters in it. I think there's something written on the back of that thing. I can't really tell, though. I don't want to linger enough to tell. Because then I'd be looking at, a, like, an 8-bit monster's butt. And I should be fighting them. Get fought upon. I was gonna say, get you the hot bullets of stone to die. But no, I got the hot bullets of paper. Ah! I was gonna follow that other one! Darn you! I'm on a losing streak now! I'm upset! I'm just gonna follow Packbutt. Oh! He got wary. No! Oh. I thought you were gonna paper! Ah! This dungeon's the worst of them all! I want to go back to the yo room! So how am I gonna get this coin? I want that coin. I think this dungeon owes me that coin. I'm gonna keep my distance this time, so they don't turn around and wombo me. Right in the face. Welcome to level 2! I wonder how long this dungeon is. Are they really gonna pull a fast one and give me, like, a super, super long dungeon that has, like, seven floors in it? Because that would be upsetting. I wonder what the layout of this dungeon looks like anyway. Maybe it looks like NES characters. John's faves! Baseball batting and plain bread! He baseball bats the plain bread. John also has problems in his life. But at least he's not chugging the fried chicken. Dunn is gonna have a heart attack when he's older. If he's not already having a heart attack. You know, which one is Dunn and which one is John again? I forget. Is Dunn to do with the glasses and the braces? Because he doesn't look like the guy that would be chugging the fried chicken. It, it looks like there would be the other guy with the elvish chin and the pompadour. Where are you coming from? I can't see you. 
I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. Right, I, I guess I de definitely avoided that. Man, this, this dungeon is super long. I'm just gonna start beelining for signs and exits, because they're hurting me deep inside. That's not how you beeline to the exit! Follow the 8-bit monster! I see him on the map, right there. Sprint for it! You know, this music could have used a little bit more of a loop, though. Maybe throw in some 8-bit Nintendo music in the mix, like some Zelda or some Mario. I wonder what's going on on the floor, except for fireworks and dungeon. Fireworks and dungeon is like a good combination going on there. Nope, nope, ah! I was gonna turn around and run. But no, I'll just kill it. That's also an option available to me. I notice there's not a lot of timer drops in this dungeon either. I guess that's the whole meaning of the word. Hard, now isn't it? My, that was a long and loud one, that car. Somebody must be driving irresponsibly with a, a semi or something. A loaded semi. Did, did we even see the sign? We didn't see the sign yet. Yeah, we're gonna have to bypass the sign. We need to know more about Dunn and John. The sign must be down this way somewhere. There it is. Business hours are 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. No, they are not, because they close and the sun goes down. That doesn't happen at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. I mean, technically, yeah, the sun would be down at 3 a.m., but I misspoke. You know what? They missed an opportunity here. Oh, it says 256, you know? The bits. I see it now, since I could get close enough without them turning around on me. What I was going to say, though, is that um, they missed an opportunity to do an 8-bit version of the victory theme. For shame, Vanpool. But at least we're done all the dungeons now. Now we are the true dungeon master. Almost got wrecked in your dungeon, dude. It was, it was the better of the five, though. Enjoyed it a little bit. At least I get 3,100 rupees. Probably the best one to farm would probably be either Super Dungeon Brothers or Izumi and the Noise. I played Izumi and the Noise a few times and I've gotten like 8 grand rupees out of the deal. But that's it! We're done with Dun and John! You know what, just for curiosity, let's see how many more secrets are left in the game. Starting with page one. Of course, we have something to do with the clock. So that's the clock one there, obviously. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and half of twelve. And there's two more on thirteen yet. There's no stickers on page 14, obviously, because that is the ending. But we have only, like, four stickers left. And some of these must be princess-related. Next time on Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, we're love-pushing, said princess. She has five hearts. She's the final boss of love. I'm gonna have to stock up using my newfound rupees. Good night, folks.